So I originally got sick while on a ski trip my senior year in high school. That led to a lot of trips in and out of the hospital with doctors trying to diagnose me with different things. I was ultimately diagnosed with a urinary tract infection, which later turned into a very rare kidney disease. And that treatment of chemotherapy took me into my freshman year in college. As I became a young adult, I really felt like a lot of the health experiences, a lot of the health scares that I had were really behind me. Uh, things were going great, working regularly, and during this time, I actually met my wife. I met Richard uh, one night when I was out with two of my girlfriends having dinner, um, and I instantly knew um, that there was something special about him. We were dating for a while, and then um, I felt like I started to feel that things were just tougher to do, going up a flight of stairs, running and playing in a football game. All these things made me like a lot more fatigue and tired than they normally do. And so I went to go see my doctor, my nephrologist, and he just standard ordered a full panel workup. He told me that I was already at stage five. If I didn't take immediate action, um, I run the risk of my body just failing and shutting down. Richard was uh, referred over to Advent Health. Uh, we got went through orientation and they gave us the options um, of what we could do. Uh, the first was the kidney transplant list, which Richard immediately got on. The time frame was a little bit longer for him, um, given his age and the state he was in. Um, also living donation, the paired kidney exchange, which we were told potentially could be a faster route for us to take for Richard to get a healthy kidney. I opted to get tested um, to see if I was a direct match. Unfortunately, I was not a direct match for Richard. I looked at Richard and I said, if I can't be a direct match for you, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try for the paired exchange program. I knew that if I could donate and give to somebody else and help save someone who I saw what Richard had to go through. I saw the stressors that our family had to deal with uh, for him needing that kidney transplant. If I could give that back to someone, knowing that I could still live a very um, beautiful life and be healthy and happy, it kind of became a no brainer for me. I still wanted to be the protector, the leader of my family, so I didn't want her to have to take that risk. But we worked that out as a family and it's something that she, you know, felt strongly about and so um, she went through that process and eventually you know we found a match. I was scared for my wife. I was okay but I wanted her to feel okay as well. I'm used to the hospital. I had been here before so kind of fine humor and singing is the one thing that I have in my back pocket that I know will always put a smile on her face. And if I yet I just kind of really mentally prepared. We both finally came to a point where we knew this was going to be successful. Life after transplant is great. A lot of the restrictions that I had prior to surgery are gone. I feel like I have energy again, and I just feel like I can be a part of my family, an active part of my family. So that's probably the biggest thing. I think people need to understand that there are a lot of different ways that you can donate, that you can help, whether that's through living donation like Hallie did, whether that's, you know, paired exchange, those are the physical opportunities that you have, but there's also a lot of other areas where you can help, whether that be financially, um, whether that be through volunteering. I made the bigger choice to leave teaching to still uh, educate others, but in a different format. And now I work for a tissue bank. I just encourage people to have the conversation, get signed up to be a donor, um, and to just get involved because it really is a life-changing experience.